Hello and welcome to another episode of Interactive Biology TV, where we're making biology fun. My name is Leslie Samuel, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a review of the shoulder girdle. This is all review. This is all based on the videos that we've done up to this point dealing with the shoulder girdle. So if you would like to review with me and you would like to test yourself, what you can do is you can just turn the volume down from the beginning and just answer as I point out the different structures. So let's get right into it. First, we're going to deal with the three bones of the shoulder girdle and the first bone is the clavicle then we have the scapula and we have the proximal humerus then we spoke about the three joints and the three joints are the sternoclavicular joint the acromioclavicular joint and the glenohumeral joint. Now let's talk about the clavicle. With the clavicle we have the acromial end, the sternal end, and the shaft of the clavicle. Then we have the deltoid tubercle. You can also see the deltoid tubercle over here. Then we have the conoid tubercle, the trapezoid line, the subclavian groove, and the costal tuberosity. Then we spoke about the scapula. On the posterior aspect, you have the spine of the scapula, the acromion or acromion process, the base of the spine of the scapula, the supraspinous fossa, the infraspinous fossa, the subscapular fossa, the glenoid fossa, and this is also the glenoid fossa. Then we have the coracoid process. We have the glenoid labrium with the glenoid ligaments. We have the infraglenoid tubercle and up here we have the supraglenoid tubercle. Lastly, we have the superior angle, the inferior angle, the lateral or glenoid angle along with the medial border, lateral border, and superior border. Then we move on to the proximal humerus where we have the head of the humerus, the anatomical neck of the humerus, the greater tubercle, the lesser tubercle, the deltoid tuberosity, the intertubercular groove or bicipital groove, the crest of the greater tubercle, or the lateral lip of the intertubercular groove, the crest of the lesser tubercle or the medial lip of the intertubercular groove, the superior, middle, 
and inferior facets of the greater tubercle. Then we spoke about the sternoclavicular joint and the ligaments involved. We have the anterior sternoclavicular ligament and the posterior sternoclavicular ligament in the back. We have the interclavicular ligament and the costoclavicular ligament. With the acromioclavicular joint, we have the superior acromioclavicular ligament and inferior acromioclavicular ligament. Then we have the trapezoid ligament, the conoid ligament, and the coracoclavicular ligament. And lastly, we have the glenohumeral joint, and that is made up of the glenohumeral ligament, which goes all around, uh, reinforcing the anterior and posterior part of the capsule. We have the coracohumeral ligament, which is this ligament here, and we have the coracoacromial ligament, and the transverse humeral ligament. So that's pretty much it. I hope you were able to get all of that. Feel free to go over and over and over until you get it right um, and quiz yourself. Turn the volume down so that you can test yourself out uh, so that you can memorize all of those structures. So that's it for this video. If you want more videos, more resources, more everything to help make biology fun, head on over to the website, interactive-biology.com. This is Leslie Samuels. That's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.